So, welcome back. Ah! Welcome back to the week in the life of Diedrich Webb running for companies, crazy growth, and all that fun stuff. But today is Wednesday. You might have remembered in recent videos I've been talking about our corporate AV expansion. It is nuts. It is literally nuts, and Hannah's calling me right now. Anyways, back to the story. Our corporate AV expansion has gone absolutely gazonkers. Shout out Avex Production. They're the reason for our expansion. They basically contacted us and said, hey, we want to send all these low-level events for them that's under $100,000. They want to send them all our way so that they don't have to worry about events less than $100,000. That sounds like a great position to be in. I'm not in that position, but <laughs> it's literally like $150,000 to $200,000 worth of yearly events that are coming our way overnight. And um, the month of April alone, we're gonna do about 15, no, 20, 20 to $30,000 worth of corporate AV events all during the week, not on weekends. And it's insanity. So. We are currently on the way to the office now, but we were gonna go meet up with the crew at the venue where they're setting up for tomorrow's uh, downtown Greensboro. Uh, it's like a year, a quarterly conference thing that they do where basically they talk about the state of what's happening in downtown Greensboro and what all is going on. But we have two 85 inch TVs there and they just added a 60 inch TV and they added on a confidence monitor, um, all this stuff they didn't have on the original invoice. But now we're adding it all in and it's awesome. I gotta say, one of the best parts about corporate AV people is when they make changes like this, they're like, send us the bill, we'll pay it. But yes, today is Wednesday. We're setting up for the corporate AV event that's literally at seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It's actually at Cadillac Service Garage is where my, my wedding was, but uh, we're heading to meet up with the crew for the setup to make sure we have everything good to go for tomorrow's event and i'll try to film some of it tomorrow i gotta be a little careful around corporate av events you can't really film much but that's tomorrow that's on thursday friday i believe we are doing two corporate events with colleges we're doing uh we're doing providing music for that college literally right there guilford college we're gonna go provide orientation music and then me and uh, marcellus are gonna go to a t college to do lighting for a fashion show and then that's friday and then saturday we all have weddings i got a wedding everybody else got a wedding i got a really cool wedding and uh, i'm gonna do a whole gig log just on the wedding alone but it's gonna be at a baseball diamond and we're gonna then party at literally a bar like a concert venue bar and i get to use the house system which has dual 18s and stuff it's gonna be so cool and then sunday we also have a lighting uh event for a wedding just a lighting only that marcel is gonna go do so we have like eight events going on this week and it's the first week of April, and it's only gonna get crazier from here. Stick along for the ride. We're at uh, Calic Service Garage. It might look familiar if you saw my wedding video. We're gonna see what the guys are up to. Downtown Greensboro. We're running two speakers wirelessly. We have a LD Systems Maui 28 over here, running wirelessly with the wireless system that we talked about before. 16-inch TV on a gravity stand. 16-inch TV on a gravity stand. Maui 44 over here running wirelessly. 85-inch TV up on the stage. We have an HDMI splitter back there going all the TVs, 85, 44, all good. I'll show you guys more details tomorrow, but uh, we should be good to go. It is Thursday morning, 6.45 in the morning. We're heading to Cadillac Service Garage to get everything set up and ready to go for this corporate AV event. It should be me and Marcellus out there, and yeah. And I'll show you more of the details when we get there. Thursday morning, me and Marcellus here. Woke up at six o'clock in the morning, got here at seven and uh, got everything rocking. But uh, I'll take you guys through the setup and I'm gonna just go out on a limb here. We are not anywhere near professional corporate AV people yet. <laughs> we are learning. <laughs> and we're already using some gear that I would not normally use. So just keep in mind, I have, we'll go through, I have some stuff on order, it's on back order. We had to be rushed into this position. So we'll go through all the gear in a second. So I'll go around and show you guys what we're using around the room, but back here, command center, audio board, running two mics, we talked about that. We are running one lapel, one handheld today. We'll get into the other inputs and outputs we're running as well. We have a Zoom H6. We're gonna do a full-on recording for the whole entire event, and we're gonna sync that to the video we're shooting over there. Just a simple, nothing too technical of a video. Um, literally cut and dry. Video-wise, we're using the Roland V1HD 
love this thing. We've used it for about a year now. It's very awesome. We've got a quick blackout, whiteout fades. Four different inputs and output sources available. Monitors, so we're running a little monitor over here. We normally run a portable monitor, which we're using on the stage as a confidence monitor because of their setup. We'll get into that in a second. And then we've got two laptops. So on this laptop, we're running Spotify downloaded for some of the audio, just playing music. And then we also have a vMix here, and we're using vMix to run the video sources that we have today. And then on this laptop, we're running our PowerPoints. So right now we have a cycling PowerPoint and we have a full PowerPoint later. And then of course, up here on the Roland monitor, we can see the two different feeds that are coming in from the two different laptops. And um, this laptop also has audio feeding into the board for those video elements. This laptop, no audio over there. So that's a little bit of back world. We're also running wireless speakers today because you know, we do that all the time now. So <laughs> these two speakers over here are wired. Those two over there are running wirelessly. So we have this Audio-Technica 3000 lapel right here with the adapter cable that goes to XLR. It's plugged into one of our outputs from the drive rack and this is transmitting to those other two speakers. So we are using the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s and the LD Systems Maui 28 G3s. These are our Samsung 85 inch TVs connected to trussing, mounting plates back there. All of our video source is actually coming along this cool little wire rack they got and it goes back here to a 4 H four HDMI splitter, and then that splits out to all the TVs. Here's another look at one of the 85 inch TVs on the stage with sandbags. And then up here, like I mentioned, we have a confidence monitor. So this is just a little portable 15 inch monitor. So that way they can see what's going on because they had this table, we couldn't put like a true 60 inch confidence monitor up here. So we just opted to do this little 15 inch and it works. Again, over here, we're running these speakers wirelessly. So we have our two Audio-Technica receiver boxes. Go check out the video if you wanna know more about wireless audio. These with the big antennas, getting the signal for the 44. We have another 60 inch TV over here cause they wanted to add a third. And this is just on a gravity stand. I have a whole video on this too but we're running, uh, we just have the gravity mount for the TV on a gravity stand. And then the last speaker is down there, also running wirelessly from the complete opposite corner. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're also running a clicker. And this is the part where I mentioned we have better stuff coming, but we have the $100 Logitech, a chargeable one, and we have a USB extender that puts it right over here in the corner, the little thumb output. It's not a far distance. We have one of those Pro Clicker Dasani, I think is the name, I can't remember. The micro one that can input two laptops and has like a range of like a thousand feet. We have one of those radio frequency clickers coming. They're just all on back order, sadly. Anyways, we're rocking. All done. This concludes Thursday. We're gonna break everything down and we're on to the next event tomorrow. What's good vlog? We got a lot going on this weekend, as you probably heard from Ricky, but I just wanted to put my two cents in here. I got a two and a half hour drive, a little basic wedding. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I've been in the office, or not in this office, I've been in my office at the house all day. Marcellus just grabbed the camera, came here about six something, and then uh, we tried to get all this gear together for our events. We got High Point University Onyx Ball with all of this stuff where we're gonna take the, I'm not even at this event, but it's our LD subs, RCF tops. We got audio in a separate room running off of wireless where we've got six moving heads, 32 up lights, microphones, four tubes. We're doing a truss hang above the thing, hedge wall over here. We got four stage decks going out for this event, cable toe, taser, all that good stuff, monogram. I've been over here practicing though. So about eight o'clock, I started practicing, getting back in the groove. Um, I got the new setup in the actual furniture. We're now rocking the Rain 12 MK2. So now I got a BPM screen. I still haven't actually got used to that yet. I just realized since I had that, I need to be able to look at that. And then I replaced the center mixer with a DJ MS7. So that way I can utilize stems a little better. So that way I can have stems on one, hot cues on the other. So I was getting used to it, practicing all that good stuff, getting everything ready to go for tomorrow's wedding. Very unique wedding happening tomorrow, I mentioned earlier in the video. Baseball diamond and then literally concert venue hall. That's like a bar concert, it's, it's gonna be sick, I'm excited. We're charging up a lot of speakers cause I gotta be, I'm doing like audio for the whole entire baseball diamond. So I got the two Mackie Fump Go, or Thrash Go 12s. We're gonna take both of those out. We're gonna take two LD Systems Maui 5 Goes. One of those is going with Marcellus that's charging. This is the stuff for Ralph, Ralph's picking up two 
tubes and uplights, an extra microphone for his ceremony and cold sparks with batteries. Picking all that up tomorrow. I don't have any speakers at the main place though, thank God. I've been here since eight, it's nine o'clock. Now I need to move on to the second piece of business for the day. And that is related to, well, I'm gonna clean up this, taking signs out because I run a home service company. And this is literally just the proof in the pudding as to how I got an awesome team, but we are stretched thin, let me tell you. We got five full-time employees, minus the crews and the people like that. We really need another six to be maintaining the amount of work that's coming our way. And we are hiring like crazy right now. We, we're trying to hire DJs, we're trying to hire six full-time positions. Sometimes as the owner, you gotta, you gotta pitch in. So that's why I, I came here to make sure all this gear was together. I started typing out these sheets because uh, Hannah just doesn't have the time to do it. I got Han Hannah's like jam-packed doing multiple consultations a day. We hired a personal assistant for her that's in the Philippines that's helping her out with as much of the follow-up as she can in our funnel. Ultimately, she can't do gear management, people management, and everything else in between. So I'm trying to help out with gear. We're gonna hire an operations person specifically for handling, like the managing the DJs, managing the gear. So we got, right now I'm kind of helping fill that position until we get someone. But check out the, how empty the to the racks are over here. All this is like empty. This is where all our speakers are not normally because it's all going out. TVs from earlier this week, new projectors over there. Those are our six, uh, 6,500 lumens. Those are our 12 foot screens. We just got those in. Yeah, a little bit of organization around here. Here's the little cleaning supplies for the boys. They go out and clean the windows and everything. But that's where I'm, yeah, I'm back to what I was talking about. Um, I'm stretch fit across the board. So getting gear together and now it's Friday night. I'm gonna go put a bunch of these signs out, these yard signs for Greensboro Home Services. I'm gonna go put a bunch of these out. And um, he put them on the right ones. Oh shit, he put them on the wrong ones, man. I don't want these ones. No. I had Jake helping me and I didn't instruct him as to what signs to put those on. They put them on the wrong ones. These are the ones with the QR codes that we want for the houses. The other ones are the ones I want. Anyways, I'm gonna work on that now. All right, so it turns out we have 54 stakes. And I switched over some of them, not all of them. I'm gonna go put 50 out, I'm leaving four here. I ordered more stakes because I like to go put 100 out in a night. Um, normally it takes me about two hours to put 100 signs out, a couple minutes per sign, get good routes. And um, that's one of the ways you gotta market when it comes to home service related businesses like power washing, gutter cleaning, window cleaning. This is like one of the most effective marketing elements we do. The holiday light company, when we do holiday lights in that season, it's one of the most important parts. And it's definitely one of those things, one of the positions I'm looking to hire, I'm gonna make that one of their priorities is putting these yard signs out. But anyways, I'm gonna load these up in the truck and we're gonna drive around for a few hours. So let me show you guys a little bit of what the behind the scenes of putting signs out is like. We're stopped side of the road. <laughs> we grab a sign and we go put it out. So a little hint, everyone looks left, but we're just gonna put it right here because it makes more sense. Um, yeah. So that's all it is. Parked on the side of the road, go to different, different spots, different intersections. This is one of those things that, depending on your area, will determine if you can or cannot put these out. And I always go late at night, so less people are looking. Like this guy right now at the stoplight here is looking hardcore at me, so there's that. But anyways, what you do basically is you go around and you put signs out. That's all it is. Typically, we're certain for uh, intersections and, uh, Commonly, everyone will look left at an intersection because that is where they're checking for oncoming traffic. And like I mentioned, uh, the codes for if you can or cannot do this in your cities is all different. I will say in our city, <laughs> technically we're not supposed to do it, but it comes down to if they will enforce it or not. And for the most part, our uh, county, they'll just take them down when they go mowing. Uh, we have got a call here and there, but you know, they give you a warning. Even if they do, they'll charge you like $50 per sign they find. It's not It's not a huge deal to worry about, in my opinion. Good morning, everyone. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Been up since about seven. Ready for the day. Ready for the day. Just uh, going through last minute paperwork. 
Double checking everything. This is the Vibo printout. If you didn't know, we use Vibo on our back end. Basically, this is where we manage all of the company's weddings. Only weddings. As you will see, is very basic. But full gig log on the wedding, more detailed, will be coming after this week in the life to go more in depth. Just gonna snip in and throw random things in here today. I haven't got my caffeine yet. I already got my Chick fil A breakfast. About to head over to the warehouse, get everything confirmed. Make sure everybody else is set. It's one of the fun things of being an owner, make sure everybody else is good because first priority is to make sure they're good because I know I can handle myself. All right, we're taking up. We're blocking the road. We're at Motorco. We got Gabe. We're gonna load in what we can. I left my keys in there. Should be fun though. We're using the house PA. Figure it out. That's what we always do, right? We figure this out. Set up, set up, set up. So he's got an audio rack for us there. I'm gonna get my audio rack too. All right, let's go uh, figure it out. Figure out what the overhead Not sure how much Gabe has shown you guys so far, but uh, we're at the Durham Bulls Historic Athletic Park. And uh, as much as I would love to use their in-house PA, I'm not trusting of it. <laughs> um, which is like one of those things. I would honestly advise anybody to not be trusting of any in-house PA. Now, if this was the actual Bull Stadium PA system, I might try it, but this is the historic Bull Stadium. So it is dated to some degree. So what we're doing is we got two of the Thrash Go 212s the trial today and two Maui 5 Goes. Uh, we're gonna put one Maui 5 Go shooting that way one shooting that way, Mackie facing this way, and a Mackie firing out. The outwards one will probably be shut off for the most part for the ceremony so we don't get feedback. And I'm gonna set up an actual DJ setup today for the ceremony. We're gonna use the Rev 1. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Right, Gabe? Exciting stuff. Always excited. All right, I'll start a time lapse and we'll get everything set up. Fully set up, all set up over there. I'm going to go verify mics sound good on the field. Well, not really on the field, but you know, around the field. Checking mics. Check one, two. Check one, two, three, four, five, 28. Mackie Thrashko, one pointed that way, one pointed back. Audio rack, Yamaha mixer running four mi or three mics and my audio. One, two, three wireless. Wired one hooked up to the Rev 1, Serato. Yeah, and another one. Main reason for all this is the fact that we're here until five o'clock. It starts at two, about an hour 40, about 40 minutes away. And then uh, we're here until like five o'clock and then we get to go to Motorco to do the rest of this. So we won't be here a minute. And I don't think the sun's gonna come this way. It's like over there going that way. Yeah, you can already see that it's already gone further up. We in the cold. All right, to kick things off, we have our first pitch of the evening. Please welcome up Jim Ritigliano and Bob Scratchoff. So we are, um, I'm grabbing all my stuff. I gotta grab my laptop as soon as New York, New York's over. And bounce to Motorco. Thankfully, I'm parked right out back here. Durham parking sucks, so I'm leaving the trailer here so that I have somewhere to leave it. And we're gonna go take the truck by itself with the Maui 5 Go, a few other little things, and go to Motorco. All right, Gabe's got the Jackery, because I forgot it. Put on my jacket, we're walking. This is seriously the most unorthodox -or wedding I've ever done. Not, it's not even a wedding, it's a party. Gabe says it's a corporate event. I say it's just like a random party. Uh, it's like a bar crawl. <laughs> all right, we all sat on stage. I'll take you guys through a little tour. But we're at Motorco now. So that's some boys right there. We'll go through it in a second. I'll show you guys everything that they are rocking today. And I asked the, the house tech what all he's running and everything. They're running a Midas 32 board in the back. But on stage, let's go through what we brought. Of course, we brought the Burfa with the brand new Rain 12 MK2s and the DJM S7. Running sound switch to our four both lighting 360 tubes. It's gonna look cool tonight. The house has some wash lights. I think they're like blizzard bars or something. I got my audio rack in the back, so that way I can control my mics directly back here, even though I actually have an audio tech for the night. Pretty dope. We're gonna set up a GoPro over here. 
They got uh, JBL SRX 812s, JBL SRX 835Ps, and then they have passive driven uh, SRX 828S subs. Four of those, so there's two stack there, two stack there. I'll show you guys down below. There they are, the 828s. Cool little array on both sides. And we are running a wireless speaker here too. We brought a wireless speaker. It is outside, which is hard to get to, but everybody is hanging out, enjoying the vibes and the food. I'm not sure what footage you guys saw. We had the GoPro running, but I'm not sure how much you can see because of the stage lights and all that. I felt rusty as hell, but you know, they were complimenting the heck out of it. So they said it did amazing. It's all I can ask for.